Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Planetarium. This is a game for one to four players that plays in about 45 minutes. Matter swirls around a newborn star, colliding to create a unique solar system and a beautiful board game experience. A game for growing families, hobby gamers, and science fans. Number one, move a token. Number two, play a card. Number three, draw a card. So, sounds simple enough, but it is a striking looking cover. A theme that I think will be of interest to a large number of people. Let's take a look inside the box and get an idea about the rest of the components. Here we see our rule book. Let's take a quick gander at that. So we've got our illustrated setup here, our guide to set the game up. The basics. Players take turns until the game's end. The player that discarded the highest scoring final evolution card during setup takes the first turn, and then it goes clockwise. The basics of a turn are move one token on the board, a planet or a matter token, one space. If able to meet a card's requirements, you may play a lower high evolution card. Only one card can be played per turn. If you did play a card, you must draw either a low evolution, a high evolution, or two final evolution cards and discard one of them. On most turns, people, people, players or people will not be able to meet the requirements in a card or may choose not to, in which case they'll simply move a token and pass the turn. All right. They go into more detail about all of the aspects we talked about, moving, uh, playing cards, scoring, drawing cards, and ending a turn. There's also an FAQ, the final stages, and a solo variant as well. And then some flavor information, quite a bit of information. It looks like a relatively simple game mechanically. Let's take a look at the cardboard components here. We've got some planet tiles. We've got some look to be resources and those are nice thick cardboard there those are quite thick thicker than those uh, planet tiles even a game board which looks to be quite large and i will have to just show you in sections here <coughs> pardon me you can kind of get an idea here of the board all right very large board and then we've got some plastic pieces. Oh, these are just stands, it looks like. All right, kind of stand e bases, of which I assume these are placed. Probably just the movers. And we've got some large acrylic, plastic acrylic pieces, which are nice. I like those. And you've got some smaller ones as well, which are just cubes. You know, to take those out. And then let's take a look at the cards. Apparently this was part of a Kickstarter campaign way back in 2016. My goodness. Uh, so this is not a newer game. Here are some of the low evolution cards. High evolution cards, final evolution cards, I'm the star of our new solar system. There you have it. All right, well, a game that according to that informational piece is not new, but it is coming through the studio now, and so figured why not, why not take a look, right? Let's get everything back in place so we can take a look at that cover one more time. That was Planetarium. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.